Hello, good morning. Um, Adeline here, a servant of God. So, thank you for tuning in to listen to this um, five minute messages of encouragement. I'm going to read and encourage you from the book written. Archbishop Gilbert, born again into heavenly kingdom and having a good life. I am a Christian and I will teach you from the Bible or Christian books. So as the first page of the website, my testimony what I went through, it was just so awful. I never knew I can come out of the way I was and have a better life. So whoever around the world will be listening to this message, I believe that your situation is whatever the situation you are in. Mine was worse. But by believing in Jesus, who was taught by Archbishop Gilbert, I came to realize that my life can change and I can become a different person. That is why I'm bringing up to you the message from the book of Born Again into Heavenly Kingdom and Having Good Life. I read. Spiritual heavenly kingdom ruled by Jesus, the King. The book Born Again into Heavenly Kingdom explains how Christianity changes nationality from the world kingdom into a heavenly kingdom. This is not a story, it is a reality. And we only enter into a new kingdom a spiritual heavenly kingdom ruled by King Jesus by faith. To be a heavenly citizen, you must receive salvation through Jesus Christ, be born again from sin to righteousness, and be redeemed from sin of human nature to salvation that changes character from darkness to light. Thus, having a new life, spiritually becoming a new creation with a new heart, which is a new spirit heart, as written in Ezekiel chapter 11, 19, then I will give them one heart and I will put a new spirit within them and take the stony heart out of their flesh and give them a heart of flesh. As you read this book, the Lord will enable you to know the truth and the truth you know changes your life from darkness to light. You will be able to learn how God loves you through his son, Jesus Christ, who gave his life for our salvation from sin to righteousness. Though in the past we dwell in sins, now we are redeemed by him. My understanding is, despite the life you have now, maybe you feel rejected. Maybe you have no family member. Maybe you have no friends. Maybe people look down at you. Please. Jesus died for you and Jesus loves you. And the advice I give to anyone is if you find yourself, and especially, you know, now so many young people, they commit suicide, they hang themselves up. You know, it's very sad. Please, wherever you are, and this message reach to you. If you had that intention, 
maybe to arm yourself. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Please. Send a message on the link and I will call you if you can leave your number. Please, you are precious in the eyes of the Lord. And Jesus loves you. That's why he died for you and I. So he will enable you to have a new heart, a new spirit, a heart of joy. And his spirit will change your character from darkness to light. And through his blood, he will give you power to live again. Now I'm going to pray. Repeat after me. Say, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I receive your message. Lord Jesus, have mercy upon me. Lord Jesus, give me a new heart. Change my life and my destiny. Help me to know you more. Say amen. Now I pray for you. Heavenly Father, whoever is listening to this message, the same way you have located me, locate them as well in the name of Jesus. And touch the heart of those who are weak. Touch the heart of those with heavy burden, heal their life and heal their soul. Receive the peace of the Lord Jesus from your head to your toe. Receive peace now in Jesus' name. Amen.